Hey, today we're going to go visit Fort Lauderdale. No better place to start than on this beach here at Lauderdale by the sea. Look at those coconut palms swaying and look at And now we're looking north at the beach here in Fort Lauderdale. See lots of coconut palms. See some big waves hitting the shore. Great beach day. stretch of Fort Lauderdale Beach. Just a great beach day today. Thousands of people hitting the surf in the sand. We're continuing down A1A past the main strip of Fort Lauderdale Beach. It's perfect weather today. Low 70s. Humidity's fine. I see a lot of people relaxing and enjoying the surf. Looking at the W, perhaps the nicest hotel on this strip of the beach. Very attractive. There's an eclectic mix of bars and restaurants. What a beautiful view of the Atlantic here from Fort Lauderdale Beach. Look at this wide, unspoiled beach. And here we are, we're looking south on the main beach here in Fort Lauderdale. I see some kite borders, some seagulls, and I also see a lot of tourists walking. And one of the nicest resorts in Fort Lauderdale is Marriott's Harbor Beach. If you're looking at the high-rise structure, now we're going to pan towards its gorgeous beach. Look at those cabanas and chaise lounges. And I love the tropical landscaping here at Marriott's Harbor Beach. See the waterfall, chase lounges, and look at those great cabanas. And we're outside BMR. It's a yachting resort on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Years ago, there was a best-selling author named John D. McDonald. whose main character, Travis McGee, had a houseboat that he lived and parked here in the, in the BMR Marina. Right, this is one of the Grand Dames. BMR is now a Devil Tree by Hilton. And one of the iconic tourist attractions in Broward and Fort Lauderdale is the Jungle Queen Scenic Tour Boat. Here's the Jungle Queen coming in for the next group of tourists to make memories of their visits to Fort Lauderdale Beach. Now we're walking on the beach, very close to the Harbor Marriott. Directly in front of us are some sailboats doing a little racing today. The right, nice picnic area. And look at all these people relaxing at the beach today, getting some sun and working on their tans. Everyone knows about the beaches, but Florida has some beautiful state parks too. Now we're going through Birch Nature Preserve. This is called the Beach Hammock Trail. There's supposedly a lot of natural vegetation, lush plants and mangroves along the waterfront here. Look at this majestic water, the mangroves, the grasses, and the trees. Absolutely beautiful here. And canoeing is a fun activity here at Birch State Park. Look at these kids getting ready for their first canoe ride. The tall building on the right by the palm trees is Pier 66. One of the most iconic hotels in Fort Lauderdale. It's about ready to rain. You can see the palm trees swaying in the wind before it starts pouring. But look at the angular triangle balconies and look at the round rotating bar and restaurant. I'm not sure if it still rotates, but it's an impeccable work of art here in Port. Now you're looking at Port Everglades. This is where most of the cruise ships depart from Broward County, home of Fort Lauderdale. Today, I believe you have a princess in a rural Caribbean. Also, on the property just directly across from the cruise ship terminal is the convention center for Broward County and Fort Lauderdale. On the opposite side, you have views of Los Olas Boulevard 
in downtown Fort Lauderdale. 